Our next guest, Michael Davis, has been called unusual, but personally I prefer to call him brilliant and maybe just a little bit weird. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Davis. My name is Michael Davis. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Before I begin my act, I'd like to explain an old show business expression. They say a comic says funny things, but a comedian says things funny. That makes me a juggler. <laughs> but I have an unusual philosophy about the art of juggling. I don't think it's important how many. <laughs> Style. <laughs> oh, but you want to be impressed. I'd like to show you something that I call juggling on a motorcycle. That was stupid. <laughs> it's a form of rhetorical juggling. It doesn't require that you catch it. It sort of makes you wonder. <laughs> it's just unusual. See, I explore the world of the unusual, where the commonplace is considered ordinary. <laughs> the everyday happens daily. Things can happen that we don't understand or even care about. How does he do it? <laughs> what strange talents does it take to succeed? In show business. <laughs> Pay no attention to that hand behind that curtain. The tiny ball. And yet, you may wonder, what is unusual? That is unusual. <laughs> what I've learned to do is to spit this ball high in the air and catch it with my mouth. <laughs> now you may wonder <laughs> why would a man learn to spit that tiny ball high in the air? Who it with his mouth? I don't know. <laughs> but why would anyone want to watch? This is extremely dangerous. If I were to swallow this ball, it would hurt. Twice. I must wash it off because it gets disgusting. And now I will attempt the even more unusual. Wash it off one more time.
because in the quest for the unusual, the hard part is thinking of it. <laughs> then it's merely practice. You can learn to juggle anything. For instance, this very unusual water juggling. Yeah.